Hey everyone, welcome back to more Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we got Ilya's memory back. This episode, we're going to do one of the most annoying heart pieces in the entire game. Yep, it works this time again. For the game before, you know what time it is. It's cat time! Woo! But first of all, there's a postal over here that I want to go grab. So let's go ahead and do that before we take on all the cats. <laughs> Something we're going to fight them. It's a death battle with the cats. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get this postal. So, let's rip us all out. There we go. You got a puzzle. Okay. Looks like I'm just checking how many puzzles we have. Anyway, to activate this mini game, you have to go talk to the Cuckoo Leader, who is in the back here, by the Howling Stone. We'll go ahead and do the Howling Stone after we finish the mini game. But anyway, we gotta go ahead and start the minigame. She's gonna ask us to play with the cats, which we are going to do, unfortunately. So this is kind of set up similar to the last thing we did last episode. We have to go around and... We're not fighting the cats, we're just talking to them this time. So I'm gonna cut the first few out just to kind of see if that works. I don't know if it will, but let's hopefully... Let's go ahead and see if we can do this. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and start this business. Let's go. Second one. So you actually have to talk to all twenty, all twenty cats, and there are twenty scattered around this village. So we're just gonna cut a few of them out just to make it very easy to do. Anyway, the next one is right here, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead. I'll meet you guys at the next one. Okay, so here we are at the next one. So there's this one. This kitty who's in the barn, you gotta break the barrels. This one is behind some of the barrels, right in this room. This one's right up here. The next one is on top of this one. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Okay, cool. I just wanted to get those three out of the way, and now we can go to some of them. So, I'll meet you guys at the next one. Here he is. Yep. So here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make this very easy to watch, very easy to find. They're all the locations that Wolf Link is currently in. So we have a few. Looks like we have beaten the game, which took a very short amount of time, which is very nice. Says the prize is in front of the old lady's house, so we can go ahead and pick that up after we do the Howling Stone. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and listen to the tune, and we'll get it. Okay, so I got it right this time. That took a few tries. Let's go ahead and follow what I'm doing, and you'll get it right. <laughs> Obviously, since I'm going to get it right. Now, this was actually the original song from this game. If you recognize the tune, it's the, the tune you just heard with Ilya. So, let's go and listen to it. A song that I actually really like from this game is the trailer song. Have you guys heard the trailer song in this game? Holy piss, that is a great song. I actually sometimes leave my Twilight Princess on the menu screen just so I can hear that song. No, not kidding. <laughs> this is a really good song, I like it. This game has pretty good music. Not every song is memorable, but there are some that are really memorable. A few that really aren't memorable and that are kind of midi-ish are um, the ones in the temples. The dun 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 dun. Those are just kind of forgettable. I think definitely the trailer song, the Hyrule Field song, and the, the love theme from this game are definitely some of the best tracks in the game. Anyway, so it is revealed that the wolf is right in is right in Hyrule Castle. So, that means that we're not going to be able to get in until the very end of the game. We have two more dungeons left, and probably about 15 more episodes, so that's pretty exciting. So, we got a heart piece, which is very nice. We have two more to get, and hopefully we'll be getting another heart container by the end of this episode. So, we gotta go to... Kakariko Village, I believe. Let's go ahead and teleport there. Hey 
here we are, back in Kaka, back in Kakariko. <laughs> Kakariko? Kakariko, what are you talking about? Wait, okay, yeah, we don't need to go there. I was like, what am I even doing? <laughs> anyway, so we actually have to go talk to Shad, who is currently in the basement of the TP thing. Is this TP? Kind of looks like a TP. It, lo it, it really does look like a TP. So this video is going to be kind of short, so I apologize for that, and I hope to get two videos out tomorrow- hold on. Yeah, so like I was saying, this video will be kind of short, so I hope to get two videos out tomorrow. Maybe even three. I haven't uploaded three ever, so <laughs> maybe we'll get a nice little surprise. So he he's going to say, oh boy, I'm going to write out Thomas' place. My manners, I'm shy, I'm looking for the key to the sky. So he's gonna say how he's trying to decipher the statue, and we gotta help him with that. Well, we kinda got, we kinda got it back, dude, so that really doesn't make sense what you just said. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and show him the ancient, the ancient sky book, he's gonna be like, oh, since that's the only thing characters can do in this game, is gasp. <laughs> now when I was playing I was like, is this Japanese? It kind of sounds like Japanese. I'm pretty sure this is Japanese. Go back in the video and listen to it. Since I, I'm pretty sure it's Japanese. It'd be kind of funny if they actually, if they used English in the Japanese version of this game to do that. But I guess more Japanese people know English and uh, English people know Japanese. I guess I don't really know. <laughs> So we hear this kind of sinking noise, and we realize that the Dominion Rod has full power. Which is good. Power the Dominion Rod! <laughs> Whoa! Saw some thunder. I'm recording in my room right now, and it looks like the thunder just hit. Sounds like thunder hit. And thunder isn't a physical thing. The thunder was loud from outside. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and go to... The North Farron Woods, I believe. I believe this is where we need to go. So, let's go. I actually went to the wrong place and I decided to go to another one first. So you can go ahead and warp to South Kakariko Gorge. Which is one of the areas, one of the beginning areas of the game. There was an owl statue over here that we never actually went to examine, so there was one over here. So it's right over here, <laughs> just like I said. So what you gotta do is you have to use the Dominion Rod to move the statue, and under the statue there's going to be some inscriptions. So just go ahead and move it, and you actually have to make like a little, a little jump way for when to jump over to get the prize. Because in each of these sections, there is a little surprise for you. You found a star character. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.